Hi there, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Yua. And in today's video, I want to share with you my first ever video in my new nursing journey series. So if you did not know or watch my previous video, I'll go ahead and link it up in the cards for you and also down in the description. But I basically got accepted to a nursing program. I'm super excited to start on this new journey with nursing. So if you would like to see this video where I show you all of my nursing supplies and haul and all the items that I was told that I must have in order to basically survive this nursing first semester, then please go ahead and keep watching. If you are new here, I do post weekly beauty, fashion, lifestyle videos, and of course, now this new nursing journey series. So if you do enjoy those kind of content, of course, subscribe to my channel and let's get started. So to get started, of course, I'm gonna be showing you guys everything that I've gotten so far that was pretty much requested from the program that I needed for the first semester of nursing. So of course, you cannot go through nursing without getting a peer or an uh, outfit of scrubs. So my program specifically requested a white top scrub and a navy blue bottom scrub. I did get mine from Uniform Advantage Scrubs and this is specifically the their specific UA scrub brand. So um, I would say that they're pretty thick and I would say if you can possibly find a store, go ahead and go in the store and try it on. I feel like these, they're affordable. I think it was under $15, but I feel like they're pretty stiff. Like in my opinion, I like to wear something that's a little bit more flexible and stretchy. Unfortunately, I did purchase mine online and it would be just the same price to return them. So I decided to keep them. But honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and try them for this first semester and see how they go. But I did really like about this top specifically, this is also from their UA brand, is the pocket. So I've been really doing a lot of research and a lot of students or previous students recommend getting a shirt that has pockets you're gonna need, of course, like your phone, maybe a little notepad or a pen, and of course, like your stethoscope that you may want to put inside your shirts, your pants. So definitely try to get as many items as possible with pockets. I know me being a woman, I feel like we are always the ones that don't get pockets in any of our clothing. So anything with pockets really excites me. All right, so moving on to the next two items. These are must-haves that I've seen almost every single nursing student must have. So the first thing I got was this basically blood pressure cuff. This is the MDF brand. I think it was around 20, 25 bucks, pretty affordable. I did get it off Amazon and I'll link anything, everything that I can find on Amazon. And I did try it and it seems like it's a pretty standard size cuff. So if you have maybe a bigger arm or a smaller size arm, this may not work for you, but this is pretty standard. So I did try it and it works. And then of course you can have a blood pressure cuff without also a stethoscope. I did also stick with the same brand, the MDF brand. I also got the stethoscope off Amazon and it was around 20, 25 bucks as well. So pretty affordable and decent pricing in my opinion. I told myself that I'm gonna definitely try this out and if when I get into my career as an actual working nurse, if I need to upgrade and maybe invest in something a little bit more expensive and high end, then that's when I will do that. But as of right now, I think this is such a great option. And I'm gonna show you guys the stethoscope because it's pretty cute, like I really like it. So what I like about the blood pressure cuff, going back to that, is it actually comes in a bag. So making it very portable for you to bring it to class, which I think that's pretty genius because who wants to be bringing like a, a blood pressure cuff, like just, flagging it around so pretty nice it comes in the bag it also fit my stethoscope so i want to specifically show you guys my stethoscope the one that i specifically got was all black i really like that it has a very very sleek look it's all black it's very unique i don't see that many students that have this type all black because i feel like you don't really see this like the black part for especially with the ears the metal pieces are all black as well it's just very very slim uh, very easy and I just I'm just a very plain and simple 
like solid I just want something very solid so I really like this and I've already tried this multiple times I feel like you can hear really really well so for 25 bucks I think this is such a great option and like I said I'll definitely link everything in down the description box but I did get this off Amazon as well next the program actually asked us to purchase a pin line and bandage scissors I got this set from Poway off Amazon unfortunately it is a led light pen light so i actually have to go return or exchange for something that's not led for some reason all the ones i could find online were majority led i believe the disposable ones that are a little bit cheaper are actually the non-led so i may just keep the bandage scissor and just like go buy the pen light or return it as a whole I'm not sure yet but here is a bandage scissor pretty simple and then I'm gonna show you guys the pin light. It comes with two pin lights. It, this is a set, I got the black one and the white one. It's pretty cool. It comes as with the LED light. This is obviously to check, you know, in your ears, um, for your eyes and maybe in your mouth, you know? So I think these are great for like assessments. Um, the, the scissors is obviously great for bandage here and yeah that was one set that I got so this actually is a set of 12 mini notepads this is great for when you're in clinicals you know jotting down your little notes maybe you know your patient information it's gonna be hard to be carrying a full-size notepad and or notebook and or your textbook around so this was something that was requested from my program to purchase so i did just purchase this pack off amazon it's really cute it comes in all these different neon colors there's pink orange yellow and green and purple in here but i did want to share this with you guys because i feel like this is such a great size it's very compact and like i said it's something that will definitely fit into my scrub top because my scrub top has like three pockets and if you did not notice, of course, you cannot get away from nursing without having like a gazillion books. So if you did not notice behind me, I have completely reconfigured my bookshelf and I've put all of my nursing books in my bookshelf. I think it's so important. One of the things that really motivate me personally to study and really do well in school is having a specific pay, like place in your home that really encourages you and motivates you to study and do well in school. So I dedicated a specific two bookshelves just for my nursing textbooks. And as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There's currently 16 textbooks in my bookshelf that has been dedicated just from the nursing program. And these were the actually books that, the textbooks that were on the supply list. So another item that I did get, this was optional. My program did not specifically ask me to purchase this, but I have a sister who's already a nurse and she said this was very helpful for her when she was in the program. And it is a foldable clipboard. So this is very, very sturdy. I really like it, the fact that it can fold because it can just fit and I could put it into my pocket when I'm in labs, clinicals. And I just think it's very, very like sturdy so that when I'm writing down notes, I can definitely just fold it up. Also, there's a lot of references and like for assessments and the weights and just a lot of um, vital points that gives you references to some charts for you to look at some diagrams so i just feel like they're just very useful and i just feel like it may become very you know practical when i'm in clinicals and especially during a lab one other thing that my program actually specifically asked me to have was a watch so i know nowadays a majority of us we don't wear watches especially ones that are not digital i know like i have a fitbit and a lot of people have like the apple watch which is great but my program actually doesn't encourage us to use electronic or those smart watches because they don't have the second hand watch that gives you the seconds. So a lot of our assessments will be taken in like seconds increments and then we'll just have to multiply that by two. And so if we can't do that on our smart watches or most of the time, if you have a smart watch like the Apple watch, the Fitbit, they, if you don't look at it for a while or you don't touch the screen, it automatically shuts off forcing you to forget 
where you left off. So the thing is, sometimes you just have to go old school. And I didn't have this old watch that I did receive from like a graduation years ago from my sister. So I just like popped it out, got new batteries, and it still works. So I like things right now. I'm a very kinesthetic, but also a visual learner. So I like to write things out. I like diagrams. So I think it's always important to always have you know your typical college rule notebooks i did get these from target i do like to color code mine one specifically for theory which is basically like lecture and then black for like lab or clinicals that's just how i work i like to color code anything and everything so i did get notebooks in two different colors do what works for you and then next, I feel like I'm such a pen person. I hate writing in pencil. Ever since college, like I was so thankful. We converted, everything was just pen, pen, pen. I could write all my notes in pen. I'm okay crossing things out. I'm okay if my notes don't look perfectly clean or if they're not like, if they're, they don't look like a printed paper. But I think one of the most important things about being like a pen person or writing down notes is having a really good pen. So the pens that I like to use, and I just bought like a whole box off of Amazon because I cannot find a box of these anywhere anymore. I like the Pilot brand. This is the Easy T Touch Retractable. It is a ballpoint. This pack specifically comes in with 12 pins. This is the medium size. And it's just the easy touch, medium size, retractable pad. So I'll also link this on my description, but I did get it off Amazon. Next, like I said, I'm just a color coding type of person. Color pops out to me. And so I've, of course, I bought like a pack of highlighters. I like to buy different colored highlighters just for different topics. So I bought this set that comes in like this yellow, orange, and pink. I try to stick to more brighter shades because once I highlight like with blue, although I love the color blue, when I highlight with blue, it's just, it's just too dark for me. It just doesn't pop. And so I've been sticking to these three colors and they've been really working for me. So I bought these, I bought a set I think at Target, but I'll link the one that I specifically purchased. And then lastly, with all the reading, of course, with all the books that I have to do, um, I cannot get away without getting some post-its. These are specifically these post-it brand, but these I believe are called the flags. So they're much smaller and they're like a plastic material. What I like about these is that they stick really well to your pages, like your books, your um, on paper in general, but they don't leave like a, like a sticky residue. So you don't feel like you're gonna, it's gonna be sticky if you take off the post-its. And these are definitely reusable. So if I go from chapter to chapter, I can take it off, put it on the next one. But I love this, it's also different colors. Like I said, definitely color coding all of my books. And so I just really like these post-it flag ones. So that's it for my nursing haul today. I hope you really enjoyed watching this video. Let us know if you are, are also a current nursing student or if you're already in the nursing profession. Let us know what tools or supplies you felt helped you and helped you survive the nursing student journey. So other than that, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. <laughs>